Firstly, what was the volume of sodium hydroxide that we used? The volume of sodium hydroxide that we used was 25 mils. Okay? The volume of the acid that we used was 21.85 mils. Okay, the concentration of this we didn't know. The first step, we've got both of these so we can work out number of moles. The number of moles of HCl equals concentration times by volume. Concentration is 1.0297. The volume is 0.02185. What's that give you? Whatever, dot, 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 moles. Okay? One mole... 0 0.022. Okay. One mole of HCl reacts with one mole of NaOH. Therefore, number of moles of sodium hydroxide equals number of moles of HCl which equals 0.02249 dot 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 moles. That's one mark there, one mark there. The third step is to work out the concentration of the sodium hydroxide, the unknown. I'll do it over here. C of sodium hydroxide equals number of moles in volume. Number of moles is 0 0.02249 dot 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 divided by the volume, which was 0 0.02500. What's that give you? 0 0.8. And how many significant figures do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 4, 4. So, 0. 1, 2, 3, 4. <laughs> so what happens to it? Nine. Becomes 9, 1, 2, 3. 4 sig fig. How's that? Okay, done. We've worked out the concentration of an unknown solution.